Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up live wallpapers on your Windows device. This will work on Windows 8 on up to Windows 11. And this is a question I get asked more than I ever thought I would. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you've probably seen these running in the background or on the device I'm testing. And I really enjoy using them. I use them on my personal PC every single day. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two different applications that'll allow you to do this with your Windows PC. The first one's going to be free. The second one is a paid application. That's the one I personally use, but I do want to mention that I am not affiliated with any of these applications whatsoever. On the right hand side, we have a laptop using the free version. I'm going to show you first how to set this up on the bigger monitor and the handheld. I'm using an application called Wallpaper Engine, which actually can be downloaded standalone from their website or through Steam. I personally use it through Steam. So if you're interested in getting this set up on your laptop, your desktop, your mini PC, or your x86 handheld, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going to show you two different methods of getting this up and running on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. We've got a free version that we're going to take a look at first, and then a paid version. I'm not affiliated with any of these applications at all. I just personally like using live wallpapers on my devices. So the first one we're going to be taking a look at is known as MyLiveWallpapers.com. So they offer an application that's really easy to install with Windows, and from their website, we can download live wallpapers right here. So let's just go with Abstract. I'm just going to go with something that looks pretty cool, and yeah, we'll go with this cube right here. You can preview the live wallpaper here, but what we need to do is head to the How To section. So I'm just going to open this in another tab, I'll leave a link in the description. And we need to download the application. And here it is. So we'll just download it, give it a second to finish up. It does come zip, so we'll need to extract it. Went right to my Downloads folder, I'm going to right click. I use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Go into the folder and we'll install the application from here. Created a desktop icon and we can run it right now. But I don't have any live wallpapers downloaded so I'm not going to run it. I'm going to click finish. We're going to head back to this live wallpaper. You can choose whatever you want from the website. Download. And what I like doing is putting these wallpapers in a specific folder. So this just went right to my downloads folder. I'm going to snap it to the right hand side. I'm going to open up my videos folder. And I'm just going to create a new one and call it live wallpapers. It's just going to make it really easy to handle all of your live wallpapers. So I'll take this wallpaper we just downloaded, place it in here. And now we've got one to work with. You can download as many as you want. I'm going to open up the My Wallpapers app that we installed. And there's really not much to configure here, but if you do have multiple monitors set up, it will detect it. We've got the Quick Start, Add Video, Add Music, and we've got Settings. By default, this is going to start up once you reboot your PC or every time you turn it on. You can leave this off if you need to. And this is really the only settings that I change. I personally don't use music with my live wallpapers, but you can if you need to. So we're going to go back to Quick Start. I'm going to locate my wallpaper folder that we just created. So I'm going to go to Browse. We'll go to Videos, right here. Select Folder. You can set up Quick Start, and it's automatically going to play through those live wallpapers that you have in that folder. You can change it every 30 seconds on up to every one day. Now, if you just want a specific video to play, we'll go to Add Video, Browse, and you can choose the live wallpaper you want to play. So this is the only live wallpaper that I have installed right now, and it's working pretty well. There's not many settings when it comes to this My Free Wallpapers application. But yeah, that's about it for the My Free Wallpapers app. You can download a bunch from their website, really easy to set up, and a hit on performance isn't that bad at all. So I don't have a super powerful PC here. This is a 4700G in it with no dedicated GPU. We just got built-in Radeon graphics. And it is hitting up a little bit of that CPU, as you can see. But it works, it's free, and a lot of these do look really good. But when it comes down to it, the application that I personally use on all of my devices for live wallpapers is Wallpaper Engine. This is not a free app. If you're looking for free, you can go with that first one. This is $4, and I picked it up a couple years ago, maybe a year ago on Steam, it was on sale for $1.99. In my opinion, well worth it, and with Steam, you also have the Workshop, so there's many, many more wallpapers that you can download. But if you don't want to get it through Steam, you can get it from their website, I'll leave a link in the description. 
Lots of customizability here, and it also supports IQ from Corsair and Razer Chroma, so you can actually set this up with a wallpaper to match your keyboard, mouse, and even desktop RGB, as long as it supports Q or Razer Chroma RGB. Really cool. Custom tweaking, playlists, slideshows, LED hardware support, and there's a free Android companion app, which I personally haven't used. So I picked this up through Steam. All you need to do is search for Wallpaper Engine. I've already got it installed here. And when I start to install this application through Steam, it automatically downloads all of those extra wallpapers that I've downloaded through the application already. So I don't have to go back and get those wallpapers. It does take up a bit of space. I think I'm up to 8 gigs just for a wallpaper engine. But I've got a lot of great stuff in here. Initial setup is really easy. This is exactly what it's going to look like the first time you boot it up. We're going to choose Let's Go. We've got a few different settings here. We can go to Low, so our FPS is going to be limited to 10. MSAA is going to be set to none, so it's not going to look the best. Medium, pretty decent, but we've only got an FPS limit of 15. You can go to high, 25 FPS, or ultra. It really depends on what PC I'm running this on, but I usually go for high or ultra. I'm going to go with ultra for this one. Like I showed you, this only has a 4700G, but it doesn't take much to run these videos in the background. And when I'm gaming, I always have this turn off for me, so I'm not taking a hit on the CPU or GPU while I'm gaming. You've got Enable LED Effects, so if you've got that IQ from Corsair or Razer Chroma, it's going to be enabled here. We'll choose Next. Uh, through here, not much that I usually do. You can adjust the Windows color, Accent color everything. I usually leave it disabled because I'm kind of set to dark mode all the time. Next, just shows you that wallpaper engine can be accessed from right here. And we'll choose all done. So like I mentioned, since this is running through Steam, we also have the workshop right here. And it's going to give us a little warning here. We can hide anime. It's up to you. But what I have installed already is listed here. And this was automatically re-downloaded once I installed this on a new PC through Steam. So I didn't have to go back and search for these awesome wallpapers. I've got a bunch downloaded now. Discover. Through here, we can find the new and approved, must have for phones. Uh, we can do a search from here and workshop. So there's a lot of great stuff here and uh, it's really up to you. But this is super easy to get installed. What I have already installed here, let's just go. Let's go with the 3D Neon AMD. So I'm actually going to kind of minimize this. As soon as I choose it, it's going to come up in the background and it's running. I know this isn't super live, but you can see that it's kind of changing colors here, flashing around a little bit. We'll go back here, change wallpaper, find something pretty cool. Let's go with something that's moving quite a bit. Yeah, it's just really easy to set up with Wallpaper Engine. This is the one I prefer using. And if you need to adjust the settings, we do have a lot to work with. So if you go down here to Wallpaper Engine, Settings, I would just go ahead and read through this. You can always change this back to low. It's really up to you. Medium, high, and we can actually turn the FPS up to 60 if your PC can handle it. I'm going to choose OK. And it does make these 60 FPS videos, as long as they're enabled with 60 FPS, look a lot smoother. So yeah, I really like using these live wallpapers, and I've had a lot of questions about it on the channel, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. Got a free version, got a paid version, it's really up to you. And both are really easy to set up. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll leave links to everything I mentioned in the description. But like always, thanks for watching.